Welcome back to Shooter's Kitchen. It's been about 12 years, 36 months, 7,533 days, 342 hours, 1,237 seconds, and we're back for another episode of Shooter's Kitchen. I'm sorry for scaring you, Mama. Enjoy your noodles. Enjoy your show. We're back to Shooter's Kitchen. Today, we're going to be making sushi. I posted on Instagram, I got a lot of a lot of different things suggested to me. Sushi. Someone said peanut butter and jam sandwich and I was going to do it. I was going to do a peanut butter and jam sandwich, but I wanted to go with sushi. So ingredients. We got some dyed red sushi rice. We got some wasabi. We got some sushi rice. We got some pickled ginger. We got some cucumbers. We got a cutting board. We got nori sheets. These are the best ones. Don't don't fuck around, Pop Smoke voice. We got our sushi mat. We got our steelhead salmon and our tuna. Sushi grade, sushi grade. Don't Can be buying. I see, Daddy? Eat your noodles. And a knife. All you need. That's all you need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ingredients. First thing we're gonna do. Let's take our cucumber. Cucumber. You want a thin one. You don't want the, these are mini cucumbers. You don't want those big, you know the girl on Instagram? You don't want those cucumbers. You want a regular mini, thin, nice, pretty, average sized cucumber. Okay? Let's go. We're cutting our cucumber. Sounded personal. Before we get our cucumber, <laughs> told you I'm rusty, I'm rusty. I don't know what I'm doing. I gotta, we're gonna take some nori sheets. One, two, three. Just in case we make mistakes, I'm just gonna grab like four. Set the rest aside. So we're gonna cut them this way. This way. If we cut them this way, it's gonna be too thin. I know it looks like a square, but trust me. You can break these in half, you don't really have to cut them. But I like to cut stuff. And that's the size we're going to cut our cucumber to. So we're just going to use that as a method of measure. Gone. Just like that, we gone. Look at that. Didn't even need to second guess myself. I just cut. What you're going to do with your cucumber is cut it right down the center. You're going to want four equal pieces, so take your time with this part. Cut it in half. Then. You're going to cut that hat in half. I like to dip it, Daddy. What did you call it? I like to dip it. Cucumber? Mm -hmm. I like cucumbers too. I love cucumbers. So there we go. We got four nice little small corners of cucumber. All the exact same size. Voila. So boom, now that we got that done, we're going to set these aside. So what we're going to do is get all our cuts out of the way. We got our cucumbers set aside. Now that our cucumbers are cut and set aside, we're going to cut our tuna. Get all the cuts out the way so we can just build and build and build. Tuna loin, you might not get it like this, you might get it in a block and then you just cut a cube out of it, but I got it like this because I got the hookups. So we're just going to cut that right in half and then cut that half in half. We're just cutting halves and halves and halves and half so that we have four equal pieces just like the cucumber. And that's that for the tuna. Then we're going to get our salmon. I like this fatty belly part of the salmon. It looks the nicest. So I'm going to cut right down there. Try to make them the same size as the tuna. I don't like them. I don't like fishes, Daddy. You don't like the fishes? Mm -mm. They're yucky. The fishes are yucky? Mm -hmm. There's our two equal pieces. Two is all we need. I'm just cutting up this because I'm going to use it after to make some more sushi. So we can just set this aside as well. So now that all our cuts are done, 
Basically our prep work is done. We just build from here. We're just gonna make... Do you guys even know what I'm doing right now? I said I'm making sushi, but did I say what I'm doing? Scrolling on Instagram, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I get inspired. And in grade eight, I made this mosaic of the Toronto Blue Jays logo out of glass and glue and like the tile stuff they use in the floor, grout. And I just love mosaics ever since then. So today, I'm making a sushi mosaic. So what we're gonna do is grab our nori sheets that we cut earlier, which are delicious by the way. Dip our fingers in the water. Get them nice and wet. You can do a whole dunk, you can do the sink, you can do whatever you want. We're gonna grab about 60 grams of rice. A nice little ball. Just spread that around. This is not just regular white rice. It's cow rolls rice and it's been seasoned. You just want to spread it on there like so. And then what we're going to do is reassemble our cucumber like that. And we're going to roll this up like a little cucumber roll. The vegan, little vegan sushi. I'll roll that up nice and tight. You want to stay nice and tight the whole time. And once that's done, we're going to set this one aside. Boom. Grab another nori sheet. And now, we're going to lay out 60 grams of our red rice. This is just sushi rice and food coloring. Nothing crazy. No food science behind it. And then we take our cucumber roll we already made. Put that seal side down on there and roll this one up too. And then by the time you get around, it should just be rice to rice over here. Once the rice touches rice, you're good to go. Pull that nice and tight. Okay. Just gotta do a quick little band aid change, real quick. Got this ugly ass burn on my knuckle from work with my nice brown skin band aid because we're not into those nude, those nude white band aids. We got our brown digits here. You no, know, you gotta support them black owned businesses. We can't just be wearing these ugly ass nude pink, pink skin band-aids all our lives. And then once we have that nice and tight like that, like a little sushi burrito, and then you're just gonna cut it to where it's following your already cut cucumbers. Cut down there. This is the surgical part. You gotta be like a surgeon with your knife right here. So you want these four pieces to come out perfectly like this. I would not try to do this with a dull kitchen fucking cuisine art knife. So once you have these four bad boys, you're gonna grab another sheet. Grab two more of your nori sheets. And then, special trick a lot of people don't know about sushi rice, is you can use it as glue. A couple rice grains and just mush those across there. All the starches will act like a glue and glue them both together. Do that like that. And these ain't coming apart. It's like Jay-Z and Beyonce. Stuck. So what we're gonna do now is lay out four corners of this cucumber business here. We wanna have a little V. So here's the V where you're gonna be placing your salmon right here in the middle. What I'm gonna do for like a bonding agent, because I really like wasabi. So what we're gonna do now is put a piece of tuna, a piece of tuna in there, nice and tight. And then your salmon right there like that. And your second piece of tuna on top, just like that. This is the extremely hard part. You gotta balance these two here like this, so that it basically replicates the bottom half. And then once you have this here, I'm just gonna get to fold in. I'm gonna use my knife to help me out a bit here. Ooh, and once you get that first roll in, you're good to go smooth sailing. All the savages we lost, we can't get back again. I put that on Lil T, I'ma keep going in. I put that on all my savages, I'm going in. I put that on all my brothers, then I'm going in. All the savages we lost, we can't get back again. I put that on my cup, put you on the bed. Then we're gonna do like we did with the rice glue before. Try to get some rice glue on there. So now for that final, 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 final turn. 
glue it all together. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. So when you're building up your favorite sushi roll, got the back wood, the, uh, you're just building up, you want to keep all your tools nice and clean. Because the rice gets sticky, the fish is stinky, spreads everything around. Fucking fish is not stinky at all, actually. It doesn't smell whatsoever. But you want to stay clean because everything sticks to everything when you're making sushi. So once you got your beautiful work of art here that doesn't look like shit when you have it like this, it doesn't look beautiful. But you guys are going to see. I'm going to grab my mat and we're going to do some, just do some squeezing. Make sure everything inside is nice and tight and it's not going to fall apart when we cut it. So boom, get that out of the way. So when you're cutting sushi, you want to run your knife underwater and get it wet or it's going to stick to the rice. And you want to start from the heel. Between every cut, I'm gonna wet my knife. I put that on my lap, put you on the bed. I put that on all my savages, I'm going in. I put that on wavy, wavy, I'm still going in. Side note, if you're a sushi beginner or you don't have a sharp knife or you just never made sushi before, you'd want to wrap this in saran wrap before you cut it. So it doesn't fall apart and stuff. I, I noticed halfway through, I'm like, this would be a lot easier if I wrapped it. But I still made it through. But you might not be as lucky as me. So once you're done cutting, you should have about six pieces just like this. And what we're gonna do now is plate this. We're gonna make it beautiful. Put that shit up on my brothers, bitch. I'm going in. See my sister shed a tear when she left the place. See my nigga. And there's your sushi mosaic. I'm gonna hit you guys with a little slow-mo so you guys can really See it, taste it, feel it. Now my favorite. Favorite part is after all the stress and anger that goes on behind the scenes of Shooter's Kitchen. We eat it. Soy sauce in there, a little soy sauce. Okay. Woo! Let me go in for part two real quick. I'm gonna go for our wasabi swipe here. Another soy sauce dip. I feel like this is not You have to have enough. a big mouth to one bite this. Smith Marino. Sushi Master of the Year. Award goes to. That concludes the Shooter's Kitchen. Ain't done this in a while, don't remember how you stand them. I'm gonna go watch some old Shooter's Kitchen, see what I was doing, what, what my vibe was, I don't know. But I'm gonna film every Thursday. Every Thursday. October, first week of October, second week of October, third week, fourth week. YouTube sent me an email, they said, if you do not upload a Shooter's Kitchen, delete your channel. So I'm gonna say less.